I just got in my memory foam bath mat and this is the 44 by 26 in white. Now I'm a little disappointed because I've had it unfolded now for about 24 hours. It still has these crease lines, but I know an upholstery hack that should fix this. Uh, but I'm, I'm impressed overall. It is quite soft. The bottom is quite grippy so that it's gonna, it's really gonna stick to my floors. Uh, let's go ahead and do that upholstery hack and hopefully it'll fix all these indentions. Okay, so here's the hack. As you can see right here, there's no crease. Over here, there's a crease. I use my steamer. So you go ahead and take your steamer and you wanna go really slow right over that crease, up and down. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna poof up that foam and then you won't have any more creases. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the mat and show you the final product. So here it is, all steamed and ready. I did do an additional pass this way to kind of make sure it had the same thickness throughout. And now that it's done, I definitely like this mat. It's, it's gonna be something great that I'm gonna be able to put in my bathroom. Now, um, don't, let, don't let that discourage you if you don't have a steamer. You can just hang any type of foam or upholstery in your shower. You just turn it on as hot as possible, the steam will hit it, it'll poof up. Now, I wasn't sent this product. I wasn't paid to make this video. I just did this review of a product that I bought. I personally purchased this because I need this for my bathroom. And I just don't think it's worth send it back to the company because it had little folds in it. So I just steamed it out, made it super simple. So this is gonna be a great addition to my bathroom. I love the white. The size is perfect for my, uh, for my bathtub and I, I can't wait to stand on it after getting out of the shower instead of stepping on the cold tile.